Hello guys, your friend to play here and today we're gonna go through a new tool that I uh, used today, I just wanted to test it. That's Emacs USB from uh, Passmark Software, it's the same guys that they made the OSF mount. So let's go online, I'm just gonna type OS, OSF mount that you know, we'll go in there and then we're gonna click on the Passmark Software logo and we'll go to the main page scroll all the way down or you can just google straight image usb and uh, passmark so we'll click that let's take take a look uh, it looks uh, like another familiar usb software it has nice options from what i see you can write an image to usb you can create an image to um, a usb you can format it so let's download it, the link uh, is there and it's the latest version and it's free. So we're gonna unzip it and then we start the image USB. So on the top section you're gonna see that the main window has and displays the drives that we have or the drives are mounted. I have my uh, TSR DFS SD Transcend uh, uh, SD card reader and my normal Seagate Barracuda 8 terabyte. So um, you can see we can uh, have a lot of options. So anyway, I'm gonna um, the first thing we're gonna do is to back up uh, my latest Pi 4 uh, image that I'm working on with Playbox. So I'm just gonna give it a name Pi 4 Test and I'm gonna rename it later with the exact info that I need to have so I know what I want. So click save, we select the location and everything and you can see I have an MSC drive towards my full test and I click select the create image from USB drive. I deselected the post image verification, I don't care about the verification. You have this warning that if I want to do that, I said yes, it tells me like yeah, I will be overwritten, that's fine, we'll continue because there's nothing there. And we're gonna fast forward. I have it at 25 uh, x speed, so <clears throat> I don't want to bore you with this waiting. So as you see, you can click on the log button. You can see how things go on the background. It's very very nice tool. It has um, all these nice options, and I would say it's foolproof and avoids mistakes. So we have the pop up at the end. Image completing completed. So we're going to close and we're going to continue to writing that image. The final test I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my Pi 4 and I want to uh, burn it and see if everything went okay and if it's a good uh, as the W32. So, so far so good and uh, I started again the USB image and uh, I'm selecting the drive. And I want to format it. It's a 64 gig SD card and my SD card reader that I put. This is asking me again if you're sure you want to format blah blah blah. You get the warnings and set is really nice because even if you don't know, we just leave what you want to do. So it's formatting. <clears throat> and reformat completed. And um, when you do that, you always have to refresh. I'll see why I'm saying that. So now I'm going to select the image that I want to burn. And I'm going to give the name that I have prepared as the exact info that I need. So now, uh, because you see I forgot and I have left the verification, I'm going to cancel that. As you see in a few uh, seconds, so it tells me if I want to write. It gives me a warning that says that the drive has been changed. So basically, I have to refresh. So once you refresh, you see that this is the format because now it has only one partition there. So um, now we're ready to burn and we start the writing. I give the usual warnings as so you can hide all these things and make sure that uh, it will pop up every time if you're certain on what you're doing. And um, we're going to start writing the image. 
Then I'm going to cancel this because I noticed that I forgot the verification and I don't want to wait for this to be verified after that. So since we're going to cancel the like, payments, says it must fail because I cancelled it. So I'm going to go and reformat again uh, the payments because now it has the font 32 because it's very, very few megs, so it's very fast to do that. And the rest will be the root of S. So we're going to reformat this again. And then we have to refresh, as we said, so you can see the correct clean um, partition. Because it should be only one after you format it. So there we are. As I said, this is just because I wanted to do a clean without the verification. So I'm going to unselect the post verification. I want to refresh so it can be ready and I'm going to select my humans which is already there as you can see in the path it remembers I don't have to do it every time I change something so now I'm going to write and again we're going to fast forward at higher speed the use of warnings Should be ready to burn. There we are. We're going. Yep. I can fast forward because I don't want to wait. And now I open up the log window on the side. You can see what's going on. So image is completed. It's fine. Now the 532 popped up. It was mounted automatically. And I'm going to close it and just. Uh, for the test purpose, I open up the CMD line. So I'm going to click OK. So the image is completed. And the next step is just I'm going to unmount the SD card, put it on my Pi 4, and test it. And um, I've tested, so I have to confirm. I can confirm that this tool is really nice, really solid, stable, and it gives exactly the results we wanted. Write an image, read an image, back up, so it does the same as the W32. Thank you for watching.